Hello there, I'm Nate, and welcome back to Vintage Rails. That is, if you are a returning subscriber. If you are not a returning subscriber and new to the channel, I hope you do like what you see, and if you do like what you see, please consider subscribing. So, this video is about the model train show that happened on March 5th and 6th at the Kern County Fairgrounds in Bakersfield. It is the Golden Empire Historical and Modeling Society Railroad or GHOMS model railroading show. It happens every year in March and if you happen to be in Southern California or going through Bakersfield or in the area during that time consider going. There's more information on the GHOMS website which I am a member of. More on that in another video but I do hope you in I do hope you enjoy this video, and I will see you at the end of the video. something else. Mm -hmm. uh, now what? Because I am in no position to run back here. Either side. Straighten everything out. Everything back to me.
problem solved. The next set is the Orange County Engagers. Still more small stuff. My body feels the dumb, I'm safe for
be what it stands for. <laughs> it's hard to find this stuff. It's only made by American oh, Flyer. Oh yeah, I've seen that one. So this is the last day from the show, or after the show has ended completely, and this is the stuff I got. So get the magic hands without a person behind them. Um, anyhow, so first we have a Pacific Fruit Express Southern Pacific Ventilated Reefer. I think this is an old, this may have been from a kit, I'm guessing. Uh, some of this I'm not sure about. A lot of this came from boxes, so what am I saying? It didn't come from boxes and it was it just left out. So that's the first thing. Next is a, I believe it's Pacific Sun Railroad maybe? I'm not sure what PSR is, but I'm mainly getting the wood or the older equipment because that's what I'm trying to model. Like 1930s and a little bit of the 40s. This is a wood sided with steel frame and steel under frame on it. I think this is an AccuCraft, or not AccuCraft, AccuRail, like this one here. Then we got a cotton belt, St. Louis Southwestern Blue Streak Fast Freight, 40-foot boxcar. Very similar to the uh, Southern Pacific Reefer in the design where you see the actual weight on the underside of the car. Next is, these two are older, but I really like the railroad on these, a Tonopah and Tidewater, I have to make sure I say that right. I usually say it Tonopa, but apparently it's Tonopa and Tidewater. So, got a little official logo on there, Boxcar 102. This is an old wood style with arch bar trucks. Then there's a San Pedro, Los Angeles, and Salt Lake boxcar. I need to replace the wheels on here because these are plastic. So just maybe get some inner mountain wheels and or KD wheels or something like that. Then in this box here, 
is a Milwaukee Road old wood style box car, another AccuRail. I like these AccuRail cars. They're pretty good actually. And then we got a pair of Santa Fe stock cars here. Santa Fe um, yeah, cattle car. I again, it's a similar design to like this one in there. Pretty much the same car, just a different number. Great Northern gondola car. All these are like forty foot cars. These are like thirty six foot, just a little bit shorter, I think. Then we have a bag of couplers that I got because I have a number of cars that might have issues with couplers. I also got some track cleaning products. I need a new track eraser because, well, this is all that's left of the old one. Yeah, eraser, no, just track cleaning pad. One with a light side for light cleaning and then a coarse side for heavy. Then also some end scale track cleaning pieces. I have some end scale cars if I try not to hit the camera over here and I already put them on some cars that I have. A tangent scale models, American 1917 type tanker car. Let's see here. I haven't taken this out yet. Heard, oh, that's really nice detail. I I don't know where to pick this up exactly. And the guy who sold me this said it never ran. Or at least the cars that he was selling, a lot of them never ran. And this is a pretty good weight to it as well. Now the next set of things that I got was a mix of Railroadiana, or I think that's how it's said, and a few books, of course. So, the first thing, and I got these three books at the same person who was selling, it, selling them. Ugh. So first we have Southern California's First Railroad, about the Los Angeles and San Pedro Railroad. Where is that funny looking locomotive? Well, there's an early photo of Los Angeles. And then also a story of the Santa Fe Railway. This guy authored the book in the 1920s, so he's long gone, and it was republished as a bit of a second, edi second edition in a way. But there's a story to go with this, so the story of the Santa Fe. I'm into the Santa Fe a bit, I'll say, so... That's quite nice, and I wanted to get that. Also wanted to support this author. The person who was selling the books was actually Phil Serpico himself. I already have one of his books, which is the Santa Fe Route to the Pacific. And I must say, there's a lot of really nice photos. This is about the Tonopah and Tidewater, just like that boxcar I got. Really nice quality pictures. Ch tells the whole history, even about the Tacopa Railroad and the Death Valley Railroad, even some of the borax operations on the short lines and such. Okay, so for a while now, the Transformers that I've had are old Bachman ones, just like this one over here, actually. And these most of them are broken or at least on the verge of breaking so I needed a transformer I just didn't know where to really get one and and it was the end of the show they're just trying to get rid of their stuff and they just gave me this transformer here because hey I could use one and it actually works and I will show you the freight cars I got behind one of my engines just a random engine and Let's see it go around the small HO scale setup that I have. Okay, that was the wrong, 
Okay, there we are. I think I got everything on the track. So I do hope you enjoyed what you saw. Please do consider subscribing, like this video, all those good YouTube things. Tell me if there's anything I should look at while I am in Bakersfield in the comments below. I need some more content here. I have some ideas, but I do still take suggestions, don't worry. So thank you for watching this video, and until next time, I'm Nate for the Vintage Rails. Keep it old school. And until next time, God bless. Uh,